long time he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? you are tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, we're going to be in charge of her team. Oh, tag 
hits him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's real nice body to land. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And he landed the right hand there. There. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of anyone. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes you don't see it. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. Doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of the first strikes. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice. Beautiful body kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. If you're gonna sit there at the all, oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, and back position. Again, rope strike and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, side control now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. Allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful strong ball combination. Oh, get the cut man ready. Good series of elbows there. Oh, yeah, he's got his work cut out for him. He's tearing this guy apart with those elbows. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. to reverse the position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. A lot of fighters 
try to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. 20 seconds left. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter. And he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Big ball from the punch man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Yeah, he mixed it all up. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick down. Nasty leg kick. He's got to slow down here. He knew his opponent wanted to move last night. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight in your face. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in college. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back top. Right now, it's part of the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one who caused all the action. Punch over stop. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Another clinch position. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. He blocks the punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Good one. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Plus right hand is true. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50 50 position. Takedown, no problem. All right, so the taller fighter lands in me, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty. Uh, but the score, how's his opponent still staying? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. What a round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They beat in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that run. My fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is the fighter's mindset?